We got our two two by sixes. We're gonna cut them in half at four feet apiece. So we'll have two for each side, and the bed will be four by twelve feet. We got all of our four boards cut, and we're ready to go to the garden. This is the basic outline of where the bed's gonna go, and then we'll screw it together with some exterior grade screws. So we got it all screwed up together right now. I lined the bottom of it with some grass and leaf clippings. We'll top it off with some nice potting dirt, some compost, and some peat moss. Because the strawberries like acidic soil. Alright, we got a soil mixture of potting soil, compost, peat moss. We're going to plant our strawberries in here. And we're going to mulch with some pine needles to help with the acidity. So these are the strawberries I bought from Lowe's. That's what I had available at the time. Uh, they're all stars, they're ever bearing. Uh, these are bare root. Uh, you're going to want to take them out of the package, knock off the dirt or sawdust. Uh, we're going to pull them all apart and then we're going to soak them in some water for a little bit just to rehydrate the roots and all that and hopefully we have a good outcome with these. So this is typically how it comes. Some shavings, some mulch, dirt, and all the allegedly this tenon here, and they're elastic together. We're gonna to pull the elastic off and actually count them. See if Lowe's is trying to get their money's worth out of their customers. So that's our strawberry plant soaking. One package had nine, the other package had eleven. So I guess it was a wash. So I like to share this with you guys. This is like uh, the mother of all gardening hand trolls. Apparently, the way they package this thing looks like you'd buy be buying jewelry in this. Uh, La Sera, I guess how they might pronounce it. It's got like a magnetized opening box. Oh, sneak peek! This thing comes in a leather shroud. It's, like, it's supposedly a garden blade. It's like a troll slash uh, knife. I've already pre-opened it. It's pretty sharp. This has got a serrated edge. If it looks dirty, it's because I already tried it out. I just put it back in the box to share it with you guys. I think I'll put like 22 bucks for this thing. It's got a full tang handle. Wood handle. It has a little measuring thing for planting bulbs. And uh, it's all stainless steel. Pretty heavy duty. It's pretty sweet. It does have a curved curveness to it so it's technically a garden troll not a knife but really nice product nice leather shroud I'll throw some uh, oil on this keep this conditioned well and uh, maybe we'll lightly sand this and put some boiled linseed oil on it but I figured I'd share that for you it's pretty looks like a pretty nice value to me you spend like 15 bucks for one of those cheap ones that you buy at Lowe's and Home Depot so 22 bucks here and this looks like it's going to last a lifetime. Also, while I was at Lowe's, uh, I just happened to pick up one of these. I don't know why I did. It's an all-star one that's already leafed out. And these, I bought these last year. They sat in the corner of the garden and survived. They actually grew into the soil. But uh, they're Ozark beauties. I'm not really sure if those are ever bearing or not, but guess what? We're going to put those in the ground too. And I have some from last year, uh, from like two years ago, that I planted in this potting soil from my neighbor. And they've survived. I haven't decided if I'm going to leave them in there yet or plant them into this bed. But if I get at least 12 plants to germinate out of those uh, bare roots, I don't think I'm going to pull those out. There should be plenty of strawberries for this bed. They'll, they'll be more than double by the end of the season, so. I'll take you guys along on how to plant. So out of all those potted plants for the strawberries, I was able to get actually two crowns off of each uh, pot. Same with the all style one over there. And we'll keep the Ozark ones on this side over here so we know which is which. So when you guys plant your strawberries, this thing right here, like this big knot in the plant here, this is called the crown of the strawberry. It's critical that this stays above the soil because if not, it'll rot and end up with disease and the plant will die probably within a season. But do your best to try keeping above my nail up. It's called the crown. 
basically where all the flower buds come from. I don't know if you guys can tell on this plant. This is it right here. But that's where all your flowers will come from. So Sam's gonna go for these bare roots. This is all the roots here. And this right here is the crown. So we wanna keep this above the ground. They don't look like much, but hopefully I get some plants out of this. So I planted all the plants. Might be hard to see because they're really small and it's just the crowns. But uh, they're about, more or less about a 12, 14 inch spacing, which is what you pretty much want with strawberries. But uh, hopefully, this is the first time I've ever used bare root strawberries, so hopefully they sprout well. I'm gonna grab some pine needles and we'll mulch this and then water this in. All right guys, so we got all the pine needles down as mulch. This will break down and it helps with the acidity of the soil, which is the reason why I use that. But uh, pretty much you just take the mulch right up against the bottom of the plant, right up to the crown. So when it gives some berries, it lays on top of the pine needles and not on top of the dirt and rots the strawberry. But those are all the, the new bare root crowns. But we'll keep you posted. And another update, I'm going to show you how to keep the birds out of your raised bed. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.